All right, so we're going to open Sketchpad and um, show the grid, read the grid. We're going to increase the view window so that we want about a little more than three on each side. And let's hide the grid. And we're going to create the unit circle, so that's from the origin to point one. And let's make that black and... And let's make the axes black too, because colors will be important later on. Okay. So we're going to create a radius going to any point on the circle, and that radius is going to be a radius of one because it's a unit circle. So let's measure that length. And um, I want to also measure this angle here. Now this point B. Um, that's important because I want to get those coordinates. So I want to measure the x coordinate and the y coordinate. What we're going to do is we're going to derive a function that has a domain of this angle, or sorry, this angle right here, and then the um, the value is going to be one of these coordinates. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to select the angle. Uh, it needs to be in radians. Okay, so we need the angle and let's say the x-coordinate first. Okay. I'm going to plot that point. And let's color that um, blue. And I want these right. ones. Let's make these gray. So we have that blue point there and if we move our angle, the blue point is going to change because the x-coordinate is the angle and the y coordinate is the x value of this point B. And we're going to do the same thing, except this time we're going to do the y value instead of the x value. So we're going to plot that point and let's color that red. So, same thing. And you can notice that um, since, both, since both values, x coordinate is the angle, then when we change that angle, both values will be on the same vertical line. But their horizontal oh, okay. lines are different. Okay, okay. That makes sense. And let's do one more. Um, I'm going to calculate the ratio of y divided by x. Okay. That's the y coordinate of point B divided by the x coordinate of point B. Okay. And we're going to plot that point with, we're going to plot, plot a new point with the x-coordinate as the angle and the y-coordinate as that ratio. Okay. And let's color that green. So we have three points here that all move. Mm -hmm. And what I want to do is I want to trace these. So I'm going to select them all, display, trace plotted points, and turn off the fading. So when we move the point, they're traced out. Oh, cool. So each of these tracings, um, the x-coordinate is going to be the angle, and the y-coordinate is going to be depending on what we chose here. Right. So these functions are familiar, right? Oh, yeah. That's cool. <clears throat> so the next thing I want to do is, um, instead of tracing them, we can actually create locus, so I'll untrace those and delete the traces, and then I want to create a locus for each point, so basically that's the same thing as a trace, except when we change um, when we change our when we use dynamic geometry to change parameters, the locus will also change, whereas the traces would have not changed, they would have stayed there. Construct locus Display. Uh, cool. Yeah. 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 So, and the points move along the locus. Yeah, that's cool. 